Okay, first things first, this is happening because this happened. So let's move on. We're gonna talk about today something that I have been asked a lot of times in my life. My favorite Harry Potter books and movies. Okay, the books in order from favorite to least favorite are six, three, seven, one, two, four, five. Yeah. <laughs> and movies in order from favorite to least favorite so far. Six, two, one, four, three, five. You may notice a trend. Five is always at the bottom. Let me explain this quickly before I move on to the explanations of everything else. Order of the Phoenix is my least favorite Harry Potter book and movie. Whenever I say this, people are like, oh my god, you dislike one of the Harry Potter books and movies? And then I'm like, I didn't say that. Phoenix was too long, not enough happened, it was slow, and Harry whined the whole time. And I pretty much dislike Order of the Phoenix, the movie, for the same reasons. Saying that Order of the Phoenix is my least favorite book just means that it's my seventh favorite book out of all of the books in the world. See, yeah, I, I like Harry Potter. So my absolute favorite Harry Potter book is Half-Blood Prince. It's the first Harry Potter book I actually ever read. When the books first started getting really popular, my dad tried to read me Sorcerer's Stone, and I was, like, so not into it. My favorite books were the Redwall books and The Hobbit, and I was really adamant about that. Nothing was better than those. Nothing compared. I, I didn't want to be part of the Harry Potter craze. <laughs> I was wrong. You know, kids make mistakes. When I got older, I always enjoyed the Harry Potter movies. And then when I heard the last book was coming out, I was like, oh shit, I need to find out what happens to Harry Potter, oh my god. And then I realized that I had seen the fifth movie, so I knew what happened, like, basically, books one through five. But I needed to read half Blood Prince in order to understand Deathly Hollows. I read it the following weekend and basically was mind-fucked. Never! Seriously, never had I enjoyed a book so much. You can tell by the spine, it was well loved. That one I think mostly because of nostalgia will always be my favorite. It's also so funny and there's so much character development in that one. I feel like in that one especially all the characters move past being like their token roles. My favorite movie was also Half Blood Prince, mostly for the same reason. I just thought it was hilarious and they did an excellent job. I'm not the biggest fan of David Yates, but I mean... It was a good movie. My biggest problem with David Yates is that he makes everything low energy, I feel. All of the energy is put into, like, sadness or an action scene, and that's not what Harry Potter is. The message of Harry Potter is love, and love conquers all, and that's not what David Yates is throwing out there. My second favorite Harry Potter book is Prisoner of Azkaban, and the third is so good. I think it's the biggest plot twist in the Harry Potter series. Everything just like warps and then it warps again and it's just it's so enjoyable. One thing I feel that they really fucked up on in the movies is they left out like most of Lupin's explanation of the Marauders. Have you guys ever noticed that? People who haven't read the Harry Potter books don't know who the Marauders are. Fools. Yeah and the rest of the books are pretty much just self-explanatory. It's just preference. I love all of them. I thought I'd make this video of my favorites and not so favorites to get hyped up for Deathly Hollows. Oh my god you guys it's so soon. It's so soon. I think I was too nice in this video. I didn't get angry about anything. Well. And please, please, please let me know what your favorite Harry Potter books and movies are in the comments. I'd like to know, although you're not going to sway any of my opinions. Sorry. As you probably heard this whole video, I'm not completely better, but I should be soon. And um, I'll see you guys later.